break it, break it, break it, back and forth, back and forth, break the air, break the air, back and forth, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, man! Woo! Yeah, break the air, baby. <laughs> yeah, break the air. Uh, yeah, that was Eric Jones losing his mind after he yeah. won, which he should, rightfully so. I like so. to hear that. And see yeah. that. Yeah. He was a little more subdued in victory lane. A little bit. I think a he got bit. it all out. I think but, he got uh, it all out on the radio. I loved when they did the front stretch interview, and he the first thing he did was the sure, mullet. The mullet wasn't check. <laughs> that I was like, my man. Glorious. My man. Seeing him get off uh, after driver intros off the truck and walk down pit road, that mullet was just in full just mullet. For whatever flowing. reason, like his head shape or the texture of his hair, like it's so mullet esque. It's it goes straight. It's like down. it's the epit- epitome of a mullet. Yeah. Like yours is curlier, so when you get like longer, yeah. Like if this is like when they use memes, like mullets and memes, like it would be a yeah. meme mullet. Yeah, there's two different there's a few <laughs> different types of mullets, and he has. The he and I have a, a completely different mullet. And then you got Rico. Have you seen Rico's oh mullet God. lately? It's he's full blown out mullet. of control, like short up top, like Joe Dirt. Short he's size. going for. Yeah, it's amazing. It's pretty amazing. I'm losing in the mullet ca- category right now. Yours has gotten pretty long though. It's gotten. It's getting there. It's getting there. Mine is just long all over. Pushing the envelope. Yeah. I the mullet envelope. <laughs> yeah. Did you cut your hair? No, I didn't. I'm just not wearing a hat. It's just different. Oh. It's well, I, you I, have like a I, swoop I it going over. on. Just test yeah, Extra you do a comb over? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing the comb over. It's still, like, yeah. it's getting longer and longer and longer. Good. I mean, I, I shave. Yeah. So it gives a different appearance with the beard. You like, right. ha- it's almost long enough to do like a little man bun if you want to. I'm not going to do the man I bun. I dare you. I don't like the I man bun. I dare you next week. Every, I w- everybody always tells me, like, oh, you can put it up in a man bun. I'm like, no. I'm not no, condoning no. it. I'm just daring you why not, because why, you're so why against not, it. Why not call it a ponytail? Exactly. I'd rather do a ponytail before a yeah. man bun. Yeah, like, I'm going to do it lower. I'm going to put it up high. I just noticed your shirt that you're wearing. Yeah. Slide job. Slide job. Slide job. Slide Did job. you see his niece Carson call him out, call everybody out, her tweet? Uh-uh. Uh, I'd have to go out to look at the actual verbiage. But it was basically like, slide job's been a thing forever. And yeah. it, and all of a sudden, Dale says it, and it's like. I think just the way he yeah. said it was It was the way really he said funny. it. Yeah. But she did call everybody, call yeah. everybody out. Well, it was funny. Everyone in the uh, TV compound had these on. Yeah. Saturday before the race, yeah. and I was I like, you know what? It. I gotta find it now. I'm gonna grab one of those, and I'm gonna wear it yeah. on the podcast. And yeah, just you know, give they were giving Dale out a little bit of thanks for getting us some. Yeah, I appreciate this. That. Was one of the last ones. Oh, yeah. Technically, I think it might have been for like the NBC crew. Yeah, but I was like, hey, I'll, I'll plug your shirt. Yeah, on she our said, show. Here's what she said. She said, "Slide job has Dale. been a thing for like ever," and then Dale Jr. says it, and people act like they've never heard it before. This thing is funny. And then they came out with a video of him, like, hands on knees. The videos were funny where he popped up, and it it was, like, seals going across it, like, SeaWorld. That was funny. It was good. It has launched a lot of memes. It has. That's good for the sport. Whenever Dale Jr. says something, it's going to launch a lot of stuff. The voice uh, that launched a thousand memes. He uh, probably added to his car collection this weekend. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Has he has he reached out about any cars? No, you know of? no, he doesn't go to us. He no. goes to I don't know if people just give him stuff or if he. I did feel bad for, for you guys. Yeah, so I get done wrecking. <laughs> I was in the first big one, and I get done wrecking, and I I undo my stuff and I look up and and the two cars sitting like <laughs> yeah. thirty yards away from me. I'm like, ah, oh, damn, that sucks. And then I get out and I look further <laughs> off into the distance. And there's yeah. the twenty two sitting there, a pile of. Shrapnel, and I'm like, you got to be kidding yeah, me. Yeah, it was not a good day for Penske. And I the, was, the 21 yeah. got spun yeah. out early and just destroyed. Well, but they they, they uh, were able they to finished salvage. the race. Yeah, so yeah. I was walking to the yeah. care center, and the ISM vision had the shot like right after, and it was literally like Penske car, Penske car, oh, yeah. Penske car. And I was like, oh. The, the thing about the 21, around. it got airborne. Yeah. Like when he went around. like it looked like it modified like, by the end of it. He did an ollie. Yeah. He kind of got up yeah. in the air and then landed it. Yeah. It's a new thing. Yeah. Doing tricks in NASCAR. Car tricks. Yeah. Only yeah. half the field. You shouldn't feel bad, though, because literally half the field only finished the race. Yeah. Like, it was only 20 cars that finished. There was probably only, like, 10 competitive cars. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think at the end of the day, there might have been five yeah. competitive, like, Truex, 
Jones. Yeah. Uh, Two competitive cars. The JTG uh, cars. Boyer, were was oh, yeah, no, Boy, were, yeah. Boyer was up there before he wrecked out with Harvick. Yeah. Well, that's the thing when you yeah. get to, when you get down to it on, on that last. Yeah. After that last, the, the attempt at the green white checker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was not oh. mine. No, oh. mine's off. Nope. Oh, no, it wasn't because I watched that video. <laughs> Shit. Ah, Kim. Exactly. Yep. Shit. Mine's off. I Denver had it off, and I turned it on to watch that we back it up carry video. the show now. Damn it. No, so. we'll just leave that ding in there. Whatever. It's from our Kim. producers anyway. Shame. Yeah, but I like to see first-time winners. It was cool to see Eric Jones get his first win. It's always nice. The so. joy in his voice was a lot like the joy in Dale Jr.'s voice. Like, when you hear him just scream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, I wonder how he's feeling right now. Well, he's racing. He's been at Slinger. Oh, has he? Yeah. Uh, he's racing a late model up there. You so he's been like there. I think they raced today. I think they were practicing yesterday, race today. Oh, okay. So they had to keep it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what he did. Short celebration. Yeah. I didn't know if he was coming home that night. And I was going to go over there, but I think he went like from Daytona to Slinger and oh, yeah, I think yeah, he came yeah. in Wisconsin. And, uh, yeah, he's been racing. So well, they like to drink beer up in Wisconsin, so he's in the right and place. And cheese. And they like cheese to eat cheese. and beer. <laughs> beer I don't cheese. know if that's a good combination. It's a cheesy beer? Well, you I think mean, they do that? The charcuterie plate, I enjoy those. A what? The meat and cheese plate. Meat and cheese. Oh. And trying olive. To, and to and, and dried fruits. I like pepperoni, There's other things on it. crackers. Sometimes you have a honey, like a good. honey dipper that you can drizzle on it. No. No. I mean, I get what you're saying, Kim, but I, like I, I mean, I'm I like pickled things, so I like my, I like a, a variety, not just meat and cheese. And Will it pickle? Will it? Pi- oh, that's a show. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a show on it's YouTube. Show. It's, it's called Will It Pickle? And they do all yeah. sorts of things, like Snickers bars, Oreos. What is like? What is the term pickling? You know, like when you put pickle something in vinegar, like vinegar and you pickle it. No, I don't know. Like a pickle. Like yeah, I know. I know that's, of the so vegetable. That's like a cucumber pickle. Well, you well, can pickle squash, and you can yeah. pickle watermelon. Pickle rice, eggs. You can pickle eggs, and you can pickle. Pig's feet. Pig's feet. Do they turn into pickles? <laughs> like, not magically. They don't just, like... They don't turn into poof. that green... Well, no. <laughs> right. What like you imagine like a is a pickle. classic. Yeah. No. I mean, a pickled egg is not really crisp. No, I'm saying, like, it's not like that. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. But everything... You can pickle things. Pickle wonder, is just a preserving method. I wonder oh. what you have to do when you pickle something to get it to be crisp. Because some pickles aren't crisp. Put it in the oven. I think it's when the pickle was picked. Microwave. When <laughs> Peter when Piper picked a peck pick of pickled pickle peppers, <laughs> how much pickled pecker? <laughs> Deep fry it. Pickled Pear. peppers. Um, so, yeah. I I don't know what <laughs> y'all are talking about pickling, but. Will it pickle? I don't That's know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> stuff. I don't know the pickling term. Pickling, when you say that, it be like it turns into a pickle magic. No, it's just. It's Some wizards you ever seen like the red delicious. eggs? Like a red egg in like a jar of yeah. Like when you floating. go to like shoddy gas stations. That's pickling. That's a pickled egg. It's usually something pickled it's on the just counter. In, just in vinegar. But yeah, if it's something that's floating in like a sauce uh-huh. liquid, yeah. and it's discolored like chili flakes. away from its normal color. Okay, it's probably pickled. pickled. Oh, it just that just seems like it turned bad. No, no, that it they actually preserve preserves it. it. Yeah, yeah. Preserve. really. Yeah. Oh. It's uh, an well. age-old method of preservation. Oh, I'm not gonna eat it now. Speaking of preservation. Trying to make a transition. transition. I was just going down the yellow line. Uh, they preserve wa- no, the rules. Yeah, they preserve the rules. Did <laughs> you? The did rules. you watch? Well, you were in the Xfinity race. Yeah, I was did there. Did you watch? Yeah, it? You I was there. <laughs> um, funny, I was there. Uh, yeah, no, I saw it happen, and uh, with the the Haley kid. And, what was um, your vantage point? Right behind him. So yeah, you should have a good yeah, I n- eyewitness experience. Uh, okay, so my. Because your opinion. vantage point was way different than some yeah. of the camera shots. And My sort opinion of thing. was he got a great run off of four, and I was stuck on the bottom, and he just cleared me by inches to go down. And he did it, and he went below the yellow line, and there was so much room in between he and the one car. He didn't have to like, go below? I was like, he didn't have to go oh. below the yellow line. That's, well, that's what I thought right when he did it. Honestly, it looked worse Where from my were? point of view mm-hmm. from then when I rewatched it on camera. I, it looked like to me like his whole half of his car oh, was wow. below the yellow line, but then I rewatched them like oh, only like his tire was below it. But I think the reason why they called it is because there was so much room between he, he and the one. He didn't really get forced down there. Uh, but I mean, I I know a lot of people were pissed off at the call, but that's the rule. I mean, there's the if there was if there was no room, if the one doored him down there, yeah. then then they would have let it go. But there was a lot of room in between he and the line. It was interesting because I feel like the drivers were split. Or, like half oh, yeah. of the drivers Jeez. were like, "That yeah. is not okay." They're not paying attention. And well, then I know. the other half were like, "Well, there he are, should have won." Their arguments were, 
he already pretty much Across had the, the lead. Yeah, had the lead before, by the time he went yeah. below the yellow line. But you can't but advance you your position. Yeah. Below, I mean, there's a warning. Drivers, this yeah. is your warning. Do you, not. Yeah. I like you how Newman, it. though, Newman asked the question. Of course he would ask the question <laughs> the next day in driver's meeting about it. He asked questions. He's a question guy. He's a question guy. Yeah. yeah. I like it when people saying, ask questions. No, I'm not in saying it's a bad meeting. thing. Yeah. I'm just saying it's funny. Like, yeah. if you had to guess, all right, in tomorrow's driver's meeting after that, who would you guess would ask about this? It would you would probably Newman say Newman. Or Newman. Or, or, I would have yeah. said Jeff Gordon before, but he's, he, he doesn't make did ask a lot of questions. He was yeah. a question asker. Yeah, well, you got to ask questions. You got to clarify. Clear it up. Yeah. But I mean, I thought it was a heck of a race. I mean, oh, it's, that's it's right your here. Voice. Yeah. 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 Ryan, this you're is plugging your yourself. Yeah. Race above the double yellow line. You just listen right to there. yourself. I'm surprised yeah. I didn't put in like a late late night call to you. Like we need you to re record this with extra emphasis. I or there's come pretty in good li- come in live and do it with extra at emphasis. At least in the booth, I'm doing this. Drivers, this is your <laughs> warning. I need to have a camera. Race above you. the double yellow line. And then it says if in NASCAR's judgment. Yeah. So it puts it on the judgment call. Yeah, card. that's always there. The, judgment, to the, the judgment calls you always. Yeah. But no that's one's ever going to agree tricky. with. And that's one of those ones. It's like, look, it's our judgment. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, like, we, we said it. Judgy it's a then. It's a good thing that NASCAR has very limited judgment calls. And, like, I hate sports that require, like, judges, oh, like, yeah. gymnastics. Like, <laughs> my sister used to do gymnastics, and I didn't, never got the judging thing because, judges. yeah. Because there's always just people's opinions. And, uh, it's very subjective. Yeah, I like it to where you know racing is like okay, you win, you win. Okay, yeah, there's rules, a very, very little, tiny amount of rules in our sport to where mm-hmm. it's judgment calls. But and then like you know basketball, it's points, but the judgment calls are the fouls and stuff. Yeah. So I don't like sports that just rely on judging, you know. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, yeah. and yeah. fish can't be mammals. This is mm-hmm. very true. Profound statements from Ryan Blaney. Mm. Yeah, fish can't be mammals. Yep. I did have one question for you. Yeah, you, you, your body armor thing this weekend. Yeah, well, you had somebody with you, Marcus Hayward. Yeah. How was that? Yeah, he's great. Um, he was there all weekend. We had dinner with him uh, Thursday night, and he and his family. And it was his first race. Oh, cool. And yeah, so the body armor sure thing. Um, for those of you who don't know, they nominate. They kind of put that out maybe a month ago. I think we did a read. Yeah, we for we it, did a right? couple of reads mm-hmm. here on the podcast. And uh, they nominated Marcus and. Um, he was in the military, ended up losing um, like top of his knee down of his left leg in the explosion. Um, and uh, it was it was cool to get to talk to him. Really good guy. He's run a bunch of marathons. Wow. Like, it was like a crazy cross. Does he center. have one of those prosthetics that, you know, like the running ones that are like. Um, I'm not sure. Sh- like he, <laughs> he didn't wear that one. Swoop. Uh, he did, I'm sure he did when he, sure he has ones when yeah. he runs marathons and stuff. But no, he just had a, I don't know standard yeah i don't know but uh no he was a he was a great guy he he enjoyed being there so that's cool that was uh that was cool turned him into a race fan which was nice he and his folks he met rp which was which was oh wow yeah i think he sat up in their suite during the cup race even though there wasn't a very long (laughs) race (sighs) for us but no he was a good good dude so he was fun he was fun pretty cool to uh, see all that stuff on uh on pit road before the race, all the like guys at your car. There was a lot of military there. I yeah. mean, it was the weekend, it was <clears throat> the big Fourth of July fireworks yeah. extravaganza yeah. at the end of the race. Yeah, that, I it, didn't. That see. Was I, I like think, I, yeah, intense. I have never actually seen them down there because yeah. I've always been in Victory Lane. Oh, after the race, I feel like they were right above where our truck was. Right. I was like, what is happening? But I was walking back to the media center, and they're just like going off. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. I was home by the time the race was <laughs> over. I was, I was done. Lighting your own fireworks. You could say that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Can I just say that I had to fly out of Orlando uh, Monday morning? And there were morning. a lot of kids coming back from Disney that you wanted yeah. to strangle. And I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I thought it was going to be a lot oh, worse. Oh, it wasn't bad. Got the a first class upgrade. Oh, wow. so got oh. Right there's no through. kids in first class. Well, I know, but like, got <laughs> right through security. Like, there's this huge line of people going. Yeah, and there's a first class section as you go. And four minutes, didn't have to take off my shoes. Nice. It wasn't the pre-check line. No, it was the first class line. Yeah. Yeah, they have that at Orlando. It was amazing. That's awesome. And then I had a lot of fun on the flight. With some beverages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that was my weekend. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Well, that's good. The waitress, uh, not the waitress, stewardess, 
hostess. A waitress. Air, what do they call it now? Flight attendant. <laughs> flight attendant. <laughs> stewardess. <laughs> stewardess. <laughs> My mom was a stewardess <laughs> yeah. before the, they turned it into flight a attendant. Flight attendant. Apparently. What was wrong with stewardess, by the way? I don't know. It was not gender neutral. It was steward. 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 I guess you would be a steward. Yeah. Steward. Steward. Let's go. Waitress. Steward. In flight waitress. <laughs> I mean, she was bringing me stuff. They bring food and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I never actually said, "Hey, can you bring me another drink?" She just kept. Yep, that's how it's supposed to be. You're never supposed to see the bottom of your glass. Right, and apparently, <laughs> she. Do people t- tip flight attendants? That was my question. Somebody asked me, "Is like, do you tip?" And I was like, I, "I'm not that's sure." That's like a strange thing. That is actually a really good question. I. I think if I had like a kid, and the kid was just yeah. like, call, causing all kinds of problems, or I had like a. I don't know, like, I would got motion sickness or air sickness and was, like, throwing up. I feel like I would want to tip him, but is that? But not, knowing what, they, not knowing what they get, ma- what they make. Well, they, well they, make, they're don't, they make way more than, like, a waiter would. Right. So but like, I'm saying, like, the. And they get a fly for free, so. <laughs> the. Um, free for the heavy nerd. You actually have to pay the tax. That's, that's still essentially free. That's still free. You pay the tax, you pay the tax on the ticket. Very cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. Um, like, nobody tips me if I do my job. True, but you're not in the True. service industry. Are Fair. you servicing people? <laughs> that sounds Chuck? naughty. I mean, only on the weekends. I, I provide I, people with a, entertainment. It That's a service. Though. Like, I don't know in that position if if a flight attendant would find that offensive, like to be tipped. Right. That's. I mean, that, like, like you don't know. It's a weird line. Flight attendants. I, people who are flight attendants tell us. I should ask my mom. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it'd be. This a, is like way offensive. back in the day. I've I have heard though, like when I went to Ireland, um, it is a. You don't. You do not tip uh, people. Oh, yeah. like waiter, waiters, waitresses, no, it's included bartenders. In the, yeah, included in the they find it offensive price. if you if you do tip them. They're like, yeah, they don't like it. That's what I heard. Yeah, but like just you're not like being tipped. Americans are just money hungry. Like, what do you? What is that photo? I I, you know what? It's it's just the tip. Um, <laughs> what is that photo of Ryan? I don't know. I, I don't know. I was taking a selfie with the fan. You know, they have the. <laughs> they have the. I know. Did you look at the photo? I think That's I did. He, you're just, he's holding the Sharpie because he's over by the window in the garage signing oh, autographs. Yeah. And Oh, the um, Sharpie cap is off, too. That's a bad yeah. thing. You are yeah. very close to writing on your fire suit accidentally, yeah. and it was white. Well, you know what? Hey, um... Maybe it would have matched the. For. It's a black Sharpie. It would have matched the scheme of yeah, your... Yeah, uh, accents. Yeah. 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 Just, you would have had to have drawn something where you made the Sharpie just mark. Smiley face. And <laughs> right on my genital area. Oh, no. Uh, might not be a good look. No. Nope. No, probably not. No. I want to see Miley Cyrus right now as a transition, but I'm not allowed. Something about a wrecking ball? Have you seen, did you show me the meme? Who showed me the meme? No, no, it was Trey that showed me the meme of Miley Cyrus on the wrecking ball, but somebody else's face was photoshopped on hers. Whose face was on it? Uh, Maybe a gentleman named Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Uh, the driver of <laughs> the number 17 car. But I was like, I don't know, it was from social media, but it was a meme of Miley and her skivvies on I the wrecking ball, but Ricky's face was on. I want to play this. Face. I want to play this. We almost started the show with this, but I'm going to play oh, it. Oh, yeah. We I'm, need to I'm play, gonna play it. it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. All right. He's such a <laughs> waste of <laughs> face. Copy that, man. Glad you're okay. He's an idiot. E- Sorry. Well, Kyle I mean, Bush. Well, hey. Showing his what? enthusiasm for the number 17. I got a question. might not be a popular question. <laughs> Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. He's nervous before he asks him the question. Yeah. He's about to spill everything. And he has no I'm about to pull a like Kim no. because the lid on my Yeti anything. broke. I didn't spill it. You don't have the magnet anymore? No, it fell off on an airplane. I was It was in the <laughs> side pocket of my backpack, and I put it in, and oh, it flew no. out, and all, this almost hit somebody in the head. I lost oh, wow. that almost Miami got a, tumbler at, a guy at the confession. airport. Mm. Yeah, That's not good. Anyway, the question that I have. Yeah. All right, number one, was Ricky doing that on purpose? Doing which one? Just any of them. Any of them. Like, I mean, All of the above. Was, did he go into the race saying, you know what? I'm going I'm to wreck, wreck everybody shit. to get the win because that's going to lock me into the playoffs. And two, how, when you wreck the entire field, <laughs> <laughs> what type it. of payback are you looking, like, is he, is he on, is he walking on eggshells? Is she showing up to, like, the golf guys, like, a wearing a cup? He had like a wearing police escort. Like he had a police escort out of the track. Wearing, not that it was necessary. I'm not worried about the fans. I'm just saying, like, with the, uh, like, is there going to be a code red ordered at some point? Well, well, the police escort wasn't needed because all the people that were involved in his wreck had already left. But uh, 
to answer the first part of your question, no. I don't think he went in there and was like, I'm going to wreck everybody so I can win this race. I think he was very aggressive because I almost think the July race at Daytona is always the most – it always involves the most wrecks because then the other two speedway races before it because we're getting down to playoff time. People outside yeah. the playoffs are being really aggressive to try to get in the playoffs. Um, so I think that was some of it. You know, he's outside looking in. So he's going to be really aggressive. We already know, you know, he won a couple speedway races last year, so he has the confidence to go try to be aggressive and make those moves. And uh, I mean, I don't think I don't think people are going to race him very nicely yeah. here for the next next handful of races, just because we're bitter mm. about everything. But I mean, I don't think he did it on purpose. Like he went in thinking, like I'm going to wreck everybody. But no. I don't think it was accidental. I think he was driving like a jackass. <laughs> I think he was driving very aggressively. Uh, like but the first one, the first big wreck. The second no more, one, though, I don't the one really with, think it was the his one fault. With Kyle. The one with Kyle, yeah, he was he misjudged that deal and left rear him and wrecked a bunch of folks. But the first one, there was like a lot of other things happening that you can't really pin it just on the seventeen car. But uh, yeah, the second one was a little bit of a, <laughs> <laughs> which I can't. T- I mean, we all cause yeah. wrecks. I mean, let me just tell no. you, interviewing Kyle at the hair salon was. I bet that was fun. I bet that was a blast. But Kyle does this thing, though, when he's mad at somebody, he does not say their name. Mm. He'll be like, that guy that caused all the wrecks. Or he'll be like, the he might say the car number, but he never says the actual name, usually, Mm. of the person. Like, even if you ask directly, because I remember in the past I've asked him, like, a question about a specific driver. Like, what did you say when, whatever, Joey did this or that? And he, he will say, well, that guy... He never, ever usually says, at least at the care center, like when he's in the moment. Yeah. I wonder why that is. I wonder. I don't uh, know. That's why, what why I have the found. Out? I don't know if everybody can agree with that who's interviewed him, but yeah. usually when I'm interviewing him, it's at the care center or after an incident when he's really upset and he rarely yeah. actually mentions, like, hmm. Devin Harvick is an asshole. Like, he doesn't say the name. Yeah. He'll be like, people out there were making bad decisions. Like, he's. Well, maybe he's generalizing. Yeah. Generalizing the population. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do know that now when I'm listening or watching uh, at the track to the MRN or to um, the yeah. RN or any of the, uh, the MRN, broadcasts. The RNs, any the of RNs. the RNs. <laughs> but I, I now am watching those media, c- or not the media, c- the uh, care center interviews with a little bit, like I'm I'm nervous. For me? Yeah, like when somebody's going up to ask face? the question, it's like, so uh, can you tell me about your wreck there? Yeah. Sometimes you're the bug, da- sometimes you're the windshield. It's a danger zone. That was a good one. Use that, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. that. I've never used that one before. I always thought it's overplayed, and I, yeah. I used it. You did. Because I did. ran out of stuff to say. I'm like, what happened? I'm like, <laughs> I didn't see it. I yeah. don't know. I, just, I think that's what I, I just ran like, into everything. Well, I was there by myself, and TV had two people, and at one point there were like seven drivers that had been released at one time. So yeah. I was just going all the way through them, doing all of the reaping. And so I just walked up to you yeah. because it was. I felt bad, though. Oh, hey. I, I, I didn't I was like, what happened? You're like, I haven't seen the replay. <laughs> I don't I don't know what happened. Um, let's talk about no wreck. Someone who didn't wreck yes. recently was Travis Pastrana. Did you watch it? I did. I did. He he re- reenacted three of Evil Knievel's jumps. And did he, he clear all of them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I with figured. flying colors. And he even, like, Literally. outdid yeah. Evil Well, he Knievel. did. I don't think that's hard to do, outdo Evil Knievel. Evil never like planned. Have you watched any like documentaries on Evil Knievel? He never like did the math for any of it. <laughs> just he like it. just went out there, which I think actually takes a little more cojones. Grab a couple of buses and put them out there. Get me a ramp. I'm gonna try and jump them. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting, um, especially the Caesar's Palace jump, the one that Evil hurt himself really bad on, that Travis did really easily, uh, the, his last jump, and. I was watching something about Evil Knievel, and he was like, yeah, the Caesar jump. Uh, he said, I was going about 85, and I got to the ramp, and, and I shorted it. He said, if I was going about 90, I, I would have been fine. And I watched the on motorcycle, they had like an onboard camera on mm-hmm. Travis's motorcycle, and it had a like a speedometer, um, a digital one, like right at the takeoff ramp, so he knew how fast he was going. He was only going like 55. What? And I didn't really get that. How Maybe his that bike much? was lighter? Not thirty miles an hour lighter. <laughs> I don't know if the ramps were different. Maybe it was. Uh, maybe it wasn't as far of a distance. I don't know, but that's just what I saw, and I thought that was weird. I feel like but they've got it down to a science now. Like you said, it's like, all right, if you hit yeah. this ramp at this angle, you need to be going. Yeah, 
They probably yeah. up the angle yeah, or something. Yeah, I'm sure 88 they, miles the math, per hour. they have yeah. figured out the physics of it, actually. 1.21 gigawatts. Science. <laughs> Science. And uh, if I was a driver, I would want a fire suit, like you look in evil suit. Like I would ask. Yeah, that's badass. And that Pretty would cool. be my shtick. Like especially if you were evil, an evil fan. Yeah. Didn't he have one when he ran NASCAR that was kind of evil, can evilish? Carlos Pastrana. I don't know. I don't I know. I just like remember his somebody, car being I feel like, like technical. Somebody did have at one point somebody. Maybe during like the star, like during the Fourth of July, because they had the stars and stripes fire suit yeah. sometimes. I don't know. That'd be cool though. But uh, evil also said that. He said someone told him he was only going 85. And he said he never ran a speedometer on his bike. So he had no idea that's how fast terrifying. he was going. So he just, he would just, just wing, wing it, it, he said. Yeah. He does it by feel. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's that's badass. And he said, I just go by the seat of my pants. Also ludicrous. Luda. Like, Luda. <laughs> Luda. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me of Fast and Furious, which reminded me of ludicrous. Of ludicrous. Well, I mean, it's yeah. fat cars going fast, yeah, jumping yeah. things. Yeah. And Luda- ludicrous speed. Yeah. Luda. <laughs> Spaceballs. <laughs> Great reference on the yeah. Spaceballs. Hey, hey, hey. Have you ever seen Spaceballs 2? I have. It's been a long time, oh, though. Gosh, it's one of my favorite movies. Mm-hmm. Honey, I Shrunk the... Speaking of Spaceballs, the uh, Darth Helmet in Spaceballs. Dark Helmet. Dark Helmet. Who's in Honey, I Shrunk uh, the Kids. Who's in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And Rick Moranis. It was on. Rick, Rick Moranis. It was on this weekend. I haven't seen that movie in so long. The other weekend, Honey, or whatever, I blew up the baby. The bad sequel to it was on. Oh, and yeah. I was like, this is a terrible movie. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, though, was good. Yeah. What happened to Rick Moranis? I mean, he had that. He had, he was Ghostbusters. Little, he was in Ghostbusters a little bit. He well, was also in Little the, Giants. Uh, no, I mean, what's the movie? Was the, good. With the Giants. Venus flytrap. Uh, little Shop of Horrors. Yes, he little Shop played, of Horrors. Uh, Seymour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Suddenly Seymour. Yeah. He was huge. Played back the dentist in, in that. Back in like what, like the eighties. Yeah. So right. he he got married, had a family, and his wife passed away. Oh, that's uh, okay. And he basically said, you know what? I'm going to walk away from acting, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go be with my kids and raise my kids as a dad. That's cool. So, like, he had offers to do all of these movies. Like, people mm-hmm. have been going back to him, like, Rick, yeah. come do the new Ghostbusters. Come a, do this. Yeah. Like, There's we'll pay you money. There's a handful of celebrities he was like, that My family is more important. Which, that's cool. Yeah. It's, it's badass. I, you know, that mad respect. Carl Edwards. He probably made all the money. And so he's like, I'm all the money. I'm going to retire. Seems like a smart man, too. He probably saved his money on, like, Maybe invested. Invested well. Not like Johnny Depp. Do you see where Johnny Depp got in trouble for, like, kicking somebody on set or doing something? But then he you offered. You kicked my dog. He offered, like, because this, this production assistant said we got a rap or something. And Johnny was mad, so he, like, I don't know, like, kicked him twice or something. But then he offered the guy, like, $100,000 to punch him in the face. Oh, wow. I'd take that <laughs> offer. I don't know with Johnny Depp, though. He's. He's in depth, like in depth, in depth, in, in depth. I said in depth because I might, it's a tongue twister. He's in debt. He Johnny spent, has, Depp has spent is in so debt. much money on what, what obscure things. So like, is, he, is he on uh, Nick Google Cage it. level? Google yeah, it like Nick Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, in debt. Debt. <laughs> Johnny Depp, debt. We'll call him Johnny Debt Johnny instead of Johnny Depp. He plays guitar sometimes for Marilyn Manson. That was pretty badass. Yeah, see. $40 million in debt. You know what? Wow. If he had just stuck with 21 Jump Street back in the day, he would I forgot have been what fine. he's. He has bought like some astronomical things, That's I good. think. I don't know if it's like Nick Cage level. Oh, Nicholas. Nicholas. It's my money. I want to use it now. Gone in 60 seconds. Um, I don't remember. Keep talking. I'm scrolling. You don't have to find it. Okay, I can't find it. It's not there. <laughs> Gone in 60 seconds. Oh, our producer said. T- Send a link to take a trip to Johnny Depp's private island. So apparently oh, he owns a private Johnny island. Johnny Depp that probably set him back private, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, that's really, you know, <laughs> private. When you're look listing things that would yeah. put you in debt, Islands. private island. Private island. I mean, depending because on the size, the upkeep. It's the upkeep. Well, of also the, the upkeep, and then yeah. the transportation. Because if it's a private island, you don't have like you flights have going there all the time. You gotta have, you gotta have a boat. Or a like a charter boat or a charter plane. Something yeah. to get there. Well, I, mean, I don't know if you could. You couldn't plane it up. You got to. Yeah. Well, maybe he built. Maybe he built his own. Built a runway. Runway airstrip. You get a seaplane though. Yeah. You just kind of. You could seaplane sure. it. Yeah. That would be pretty neat. Do you think though. he dresses up as a pirate when he's on his private? Definitely. Island? He bought the black pearl and he sails that to his private island. That's true. That he calls Tortuga. <laughs> oh my god. That'd be amazing. Yo ho yo ho! A pirate's life for me. I don't know, man. That's crazy how. Yeah. Anyway. Like that. I don't understand it. About a yacht. It's a steam-powered yacht. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who buys a steam-powered yacht? Johnny, and Johnny Depp. The 
it's pirate themed. Uh, it it's is it's nice. got a Jolly Roger alongside its official Marshall Marshall Islands nice. flag. A Jolly um, Roger. I was just listening to a podcast ha- about how it's very hard to make danger graphic signs now. Danger. Danger. You small niggling time. Anyway. Danger. They were talking about the Jolly Roger. Yeah. What do you mean danger graphic signs? Uh, I didn't get to finish the podcast because my my drive ended. Oh. Um, but. <laughs> Oh. How like back in the day there were there were ubiquitous danger signs like anywhere around the world you would be like that is skull and crossbow yes yeah. like a Jolly Roger something oh, like okay. that skull and crossbow so but nowadays it's more difficult can't make it now yeah I don't know do why I gotta listen to the rest of the podcast do you know why pirate flags were black uh, because of so they couldn't see them at night no it's a military term when you give them the black flag it means you give them no quarter. And by no quarter means we do not accept your surrender. So it was meant to. So that's to like when NASCAR waves the black flag, we do not accept your decision making. Yeah. But basically, <laughs> the waving of the black flag was supposed to signify to the other sailors out on their ships that give listen, up. Give up your ship because we ain't going to take you prisoner. <laughs> We're going to so, kill you. Yeah. It was mainly used okay. as just a scare tactic. Yeah. Like it, the pirates rarely Ooh, like. Ooh, black flag. Yeah, but it, it struck fear into the hearts, and then once they started putting skulls on there, and, you know, yes. Blackbeard puts the standing skeleton stabbing the heart. There we go. It's yeah. scary. And Blackbeard goes into battle with, the uh, you know, the flaming oh. fuses in his beard. Yeah, that had to hurt. Ooh. Sparklers. Speaking yeah. of fear. <laughs> Sparklers in his beard. <laughs> we call him Sparklebeard. Speaking of fear. The dread pirate of the seven seas. <laughs> He's Sparklebeard. You are completely missing my transition. Yeah, speaking what? of fear, <laughs> Friday the 13th Aha. is coming up. Hotel Transylvania 3 comes out. So excited. Oh, what? Hotel Transylvania it's a cartoon. 3. Oh. Uh, with Adam I've Sandler. I only, I only saw the first one. Yeah, there's three of them now. Mm, I saw none I of them. I got to catch up. And uh, I don't know, the last one looks pretty gloomy. But what happens on Friday the 13th? This you weekend know. is a Friday the 13th. Yeah. The last one of the year, apparently. Why is Friday the 13th such a, why do people make such a big deal out of it? There's a couple you theories know? behind that. Yeah. Um, one, Tell us, Chuck. One involves the Knights Templar. Uh, because there was a uh, massacre and arrest of several Knights Templar in France mm. in, I believe, 1307. Of course. Um, the was other it on Friday the 13th of 1307? Yes, it was events on Friday the 13th of 1307. Ooh. They were arrested, burnt, and burnt. Oh. Um, Chaucer, I believe, wrote about it in the Canterbury Tales. Uh, the other one... Um, I like this one. I've heard this one. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ was on Friday oh, the thirteenth, okay. and and continue. There were the disciples. The thirteen disciples. Ah, yes, yes. Oh. Well, wasn't there only uh, twelve once? Uh, once Judas <laughs> left the, the the band. Once he decided yeah. because to the turn. fear of the number thirteen can be tracked. Trace back to the 19th century belief that Judas Iscariot sat in the 13th place mm. at ah. Jesus' table yeah. at the Last Supper. Okay, and then they turned at them the table for the Last Supper, which took place. Yeah, then they so turned them, uh, into, you ever into did, movies. I think it's weird when you look at like I was about to say photos, not photos. When, when you, you look at photos when of you, Jesus, when you see renditions of the 13th or the Last Supper with the 13 disciples, they're all on the same side of the table. Have you ever seen the movie History of the World Part 1? It's a Mel Brooks film. No, but it <laughs> makes me so mad because I was like, they were in no way sitting at a table. Could you imagine where they number could not one and 13 other. talking to each other? be like, oh. hey. <laughs> well, that's why they're all leaning in the. Uh, <laughs> well, they ha- in, in History of the World, they brought in uh, Leonardo da Vinci you mm-hmm. know, to do the painting. Is this like, like drunk history? Oh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to get, we're going to do the painting. How's this going to work? You're, I, I can't have this. You are on this side of the table. You, I, I can't do backs. I'm not going to do backs. Everybody get up. Go on the other side of the table. Like, he does a whole thing. Yeah. Moves them and, like, positions them. <laughs> so I think it's the artist's and, fault that yeah. we have this picture in our head of the Last Supper being on this long table. I bet you they were at a round table. You know what? You do some painting, Kim. Why don't you draw one from a perspective paintings. of looking down the middle of the table? No, how long of a table. Ooh, down the middle. Two. Yeah. Like, you, when you take a photograph. Yeah, down like, the... Yeah, look. Selfie! Hello. Hey, guys, look here. <laughs> yeah. Jesus can be holding the selfie phone. And he was just... <laughs> they were We've just officially hit religion on the glass case of emotion... <laughs> We're not really talking about religion. We're talking about, like we're talking religion about religion of yeah, it. Yeah. We're talking about like, you know, selfies with Jesus. Selfies with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, hey, I people like people would want all the selfies with Jesus when they create time machines. I don't believe in time travel. Do you believe in time travel? Not yet. 
but eventually I don't, down the, the road, here, probably. I used to think I believed in it because if you were able to travel at the speed of light, you could technically go back. However, I think if you really think about it, like time is a human construct. So like the past is memories and the future is possibility and you can't travel to memories or possibility. Bullshit. I call bullshit. I think that because argument? of that, because and, of that. And the argument goes to check. <laughs> because of that, time <laughs> travel is possible. Because if you think about the amount of power that you have in your brain that you don't even tap into, what if you're able to... I mean, to, I can, like, meditate what, and no, like, but, yeah, oh, I'm present in but this have you ever have you ever been in a memory that seemed very real? Or, like, b- driven Deja down somewhere? Vu? Deja vu? Yeah. Like, what is that? You know there's a Vuda, uh, yeah. Vujade? Vujade? Yeah. <laughs> what is a Vujade? It's the opposite, in a way. <laughs> it's like your... Vujade is opposite, in a way. It's... it's <laughs> So they say. <laughs> I don't remember. I just read a thing about so Bouja Day. I don't know. But <laughs> I think that because of that, because there's stuff that's not tapped into, you I might be disagree. able to. You could technically time travel. Memories are technically time travel. Right. If you think about it. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. In a sense. I took a shit yesterday. I time traveled back to that time because <laughs> I remembered it. And it's technically that's, time that, travel. That is true. I think if you were to time travel, if you were to create a vehicle that could travel at the speed of light, your time travel would be very much your own um, timeline no it would be restricted like you could live in australia and you could time travel back to like the day before in another country like if you were fast enough i don't think i, I, don't, I think i think I time think. travel is possible on your own timeline i mean yeah i mean i can't go time travel back yeah. to you you know because it's, it's got to be yourself but okay, uh, hell, that's if, relative I, it's still memory right uh, but possibility. if superman comes back you know he reverse time yeah, yeah but how are around you, the world but think backwards. about it like if you're flying forward like is it directional no it's like a fourth plane like but, not like time is a fourth right. so if you can tap dimension. into the fourth plane if yeah, you but can where find, do you like, go like if you uh, can travel at the speed of light how do you go backwards talking about how time do you travel go though, forward if you travel back in time oh there's <laughs> another topic do you travel back in time as you, or are you a duplicate of yourself, and you can see yourself? Oh. Alternate realities. Yes. Are there alternate parallel oh. universes? This is oh, why like, I have a hard time. All the time. Like the very logical. I love science, and I love mm-hmm. like mysticism and all that, and make believe. So part of me wants to believe in tra- time travel, and I used to, but then if I really think about it, I don't think it's possible. I, I, I think it is. I think it's just a matter of understanding time and space. In, if you listen to Neil deGrasse Tyson talk about it, like it's the looking at you got to be able to figure out a way to look at it as opposed to a line, be able to look at the fourth dimension of it where you're saying is the fourth mm-hmm. dimension, which makes it m- impossible to me because directionally, right unless you, see, I uh, yeah, there's a lot of we could talk about this for all <laughs> I mean, we can keep talking about it. I mean, <laughs> but what I always think about what's next, what's the next like technology, yeah, technological advancement we're gonna make. You have know? you ever read the uh, watchmaker's rattle? No, but you have talked about no. it before. Yeah. People need to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we have not. But what 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 do you think the next? I just think it's funny. Thing. You get thinking like, okay, a gun. The watchman's rattle. When did they when did they first make a gun mm-hmm. firing? I mean, in the Chinese eight, back in the way uh, back like in the eighteen hundreds, thirteenth. Oh, I want to say okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> me right way back there. <laughs> uh, and really, the, the <laughs> dynamics of a gun have not changed in a long time. You have gunpowder, you create an explosion, that, cr- uh, that, that explosion propels a yeah. lead projectile to somebody. It's essentially like cannons were probably the f- was technically the first gun. Yeah. So what is like the next, it hasn't changed. We still use the same technology pretty much. Yeah, guns have different looks and stuff like that, but. The technology of it is. Yeah, similar. like there's no lasers out. There's no. <laughs> lasers. Like, I just don't. I just don't know what the next step is. Like it hasn't advanced at all in uh, in a long time. And the same as other things, except for like phones. Phones like, are that's like the, the only one thing, thing that's like constantly evolving. Right. I, but phones are technically computers now though. They're like a one stop shop computer, camera, planner, time all of travel. the things. That's the next uh, thing. That's the <laughs> time. The next thing. The next best thing. Going to Mars. Yeah. Elon. Well that's Elon like, if you're listening. That's the thing that I think they're testing is the speed at which you can get there. You can get there. And why would that matter? I, kn- I know it does, but why why are they saying that matters? Well, if we want how long to g- can it, how long does it take to get there now? A couple years. Yeah. Oh, and long time. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's it, like they're looking for people like, "Hey, do you want to go to Mars? You're not coming back." Yeah. 
Like, mm. he, I think there are people that would be there, like, but we don't yes, know how to, we can't there get would you be back. Plenty yeah. of volunteers. Like that's that's we're in that like early exploratory area of space. Yeah, where it takes us forever to get there, but we don't really know. Like, if you land somebody there, isn't it kind of crazy how back. from yeah. when they started space ex- exploration, they really haven't done. A lot since then. Yeah, but there's nowhere to go. Yeah, relatively, like, where are you gonna go? relatively speaking, yeah, they've like created satellites and and explored different. We planets. made it to the moon, and then we we're like, all right, the moon. Like, cool. There's nothing here. That's <laughs> what, it. Like, it took us this long to get here, and yeah. that's the closest object. How long is it going to take us? Well, that's a lot of math. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. We're I, not doing that. Nope, we're not going to Venus. Nope. And uh, Mars, maybe? Is the problem with Mars that it would be imp- very difficult to sustain somebody in space for years to get there? Well, it's not a sustainable atmosphere. I mean, you No, can't, I'm like, saying sustain somebody on the ship. Like, all of the things that it would take to oh, yeah. let somebody live for three years I mean, to you, get there. Is you that the, which, just that's the what, food aspect? Yeah, of, that's what I'm saying. Is that need. the problem? Well, and that's what Elon Musk was testing with his rocket was that sort of not using the engines the whole time to send supplies. Why don't you put somebody in an induced a coma and you feed them you some st- tubes mm, and then I they wake up and they're on Mars? Hyper sleep? I don't know if we're at that <laughs> level yet. Oh, well, we just got moving the on. moving on. You don't like our space moving exploration? On. We're enjoying this travel? conversation. I was we're getting That's it. fine. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk no about way. the Denver airport for a second. <laughs> <laughs> About Denver <laughs> aliens, man. Aliens. Let's, talk aliens. About, let's talk about the lizard people in the White House. In a hot tub. Yeah, let's talk about a bear chilling in a hot tub. So, That's anyway, light, drinking a lighter margarita. fare. Yeah, is that is that what you want? Is that what you want? What do you, the internet people, what do you want to hear more talk <laughs> have about? Have you ever, uh, you ever seen a shaved bear? It's uh, terrifying. How, how, I'm, I'm how have Bush. you seen a shaved bear? He's met me. The internet, yeah, <laughs> you. It's terrifying. I'm gonna pull a picture of shaved bear. You guys talk for a second. Did a like zoo do this? Was there a purpose for shaving the bear? Like, you had. You infestation of fleas. I probably just wanted a haircut. Was like, it hot? Was it like, was like, oh, it like I'm uh, used to Pedro? the Arctic, and you Pedro guys brought me down hot? here. I needed to shave my head. Um, the oh, bear in the hot tub was really funny, though. Yeah, look how it's terrifying. too hot in the hot tub. <laughs> look how terrifying. It was unheated. Yeah, the shaved bear oh looks. my gosh. <laughs> Is it that, looks like that looks like a species that might be a hairless bear <laughs> species. No, that is a that's a shaved bear, Kim. <laughs> that is you guys terrifying. See the shaved that's, bear. That's scarier like than a, a real bear. It looks like a, it looks like a chupacra, chupacara. Chupacabra. 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 What, chupacabra. what is that called? El chupacabra. Yeah. What did I say? Chupacara? Chupacabra. Chupacabra. Chalupa. Chalupa. Chalupa Batman. That's that, they're serving those at Taco Bell. That is more scary than a regular bear. Yeah. I think because it looks very alien esque. It just looks like a, it looks, a massive rat. It looks like it would just go rawr. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it'd be more savage. Like, you can rah! see it on like on like Winnie the Pooh, be like hi Pooh, hi Pooh. It looks like an elephant. Pooh technically though, set. like he doesn't have fur drawn on him. Like his fur is just like understood <laughs> that what you're looking at is fur. We understand that this is fur. <laughs> we don't need, and he's wearing a shirt, but no he pants. Has no pants. Isn't that funny? Like, he, like, Daffy Duck, don't mm-hmm. wear pants. It's like, I don't really Walk get Walking around that. no pants on. Yeah. yeah. And they just put, like, a little belly yeah. where, the, where the generals should be. I'm like, fupa. Yeah. I just, I think it's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you ever watch old cartoons? Like, old Looney Tunes, yeah. Bugs Bunny? Oh, yeah. Like, there's some bad shit in there. Uh, Do you remember Ren and Stimpy? Yeah. Have we talked about this? Like, yeah. when they would do zoom-ins on, like, Zits and mm-hmm. just weird. It's terrifying. Stuff. That show did terrify me as a child. Like I, not only, I loved it and it terrified. They're not only terrifying, but some of them are like really racist. Racist. They're like, they're bad. very sexual too yes. in nature. Like do you remember Pepe Le Pew? Yeah. Yeah. That dude was a rapist. Like <laughs> I'm not lying to you. Oh no, he, that the whole premise was that he was going to take yeah, home. Yeah. yeah. Like and <laughs> the poor lady skunks didn't want to go yeah. and he. <laughs> Convinced them. I what? feel like somebody has done an updated one where, like, she says no and, like, oh, no. then, like, turns the tables on him. Like, yeah. Pepe Le Pew gets uh, his Pepe comeuppance. Le Pew. Yeah. Pepe Le Pew, your uppance has They're come. They're also very violent. Yeah. Like the Roadrunner and the Coyote, oh, Wiley yeah. Coyote, like, all of those where they're, bas- he's, they're basically trying to kill each other the whole yeah. time. I think it's just funny aye, how, aye. Old, how they have uh, <laughs> three roofied them. Is that how you spell that? No, that's not how you spell <laughs> All that I almost looked at it like rupees, like <laughs> the Indian Why money. Why did you say rupees? 
What? Rooflin? Rooflin? <laughs> what Rooflin? is Rooflin? Yeah. Oh, what's her name? The wife is going to be so mad. What's her name? Tina? I don't know. What? Uh, Tina. Eat the food. No, the uh, guy's wife in oh. The Hangover, where he's like, so and so's going to be so mad. I think it's Tina. I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway. Doug? Yeah. Doug. Wow. Oh, anyway. I can't remember. A bear chilled in the hot tub and <laughs> drank, drank a margarita. margarita. Then took a nap. Yeah. And then wandered back off into the woods. Yeah, but they show nice. the video. The guy, the homeowner took a video. And the, the bear is just like, like yeah. playing in the hot tub. Yeah. And he eats some flowers. He, he plays a, with like the pool. Having the time of his thing. life. He had a, a tag on his ear. So he yeah. looked like he was a tagged bear. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, you know. And then he drank the guy's margarita. <laughs> took a nap under a tree <laughs> for a couple <laughs> hours. <laughs> yeah. Got a suntan. Yeah. That's nice. Bear tan. It was great. Bear tan. But yeah, I mean, I I see a lot of videos of bears going in people's backyards and stuff. They're I curious. S- I saw one on the way to my last reenactment. Yeah, run alongside the road. A baby or a mama? It was a black bear, or I don't know what size it was, but it was very clumsily running. Aren't you supposed to make loud noises if you're near a bear? It was in a car. No, I'm saying like if you run into a bear in I was, the wild. I was driving my car and I just went. Bah! <laughs> you don't hear much about bears being hit. Are they smarter animals than deers? Because deers get hit all the time. Or do bears just not cross the road? So we hit a. <laughs> why did the bear cross the road? No, why didn't he? Because we never see them cross well, the road. So, funny story in college, we were going over to Gatlinburg and uh, we were in my buddy's Camaro. <laughs> going to Gatlinburg? <laughs> going to Gatlinburg. See your Uncle Rick. In a Camaro. A lot. And uh, we hit a bear. Hit one? Yeah, it knocked the Camaro into neutral. Oh, I shit. would imagine. Usually there's more damage done to the cars than the animal when an animal gets hit of that size. It smelled funky for a while. Like did there you, was like Did the bear die? We don't know. We assume it, it did. just kept driving. <laughs> <laughs> it we were all scared because it was like the middle of the night. PETA and is like, going to, you're going to be getting a call from PETA. You don't know what you just hit. We don't, you don't know what you yeah. hit. Like it was, there was, I think it was already dead. That would be terrifying. It wasn't, mo- it wasn't like we saw it like moving. It was a dark shape. Oh. Mm. I'd be road. terrified yeah. that it was a human because a bear is very human like because it can stand on two legs. And if it's very dark, right. did you hit a human? Did you, <laughs> did you, did you, <laughs> I mean, did what, you kill the, a person no, with your car? What's, what's, what's the, I wasn't driving. I was just in the car and we were partying in college, but not down at the beach like in that movie. Allegedly. Um, what was that movie? The, I know what you did last summer. What are you waiting for? I know oh, what you did last summer. Yeah. Yeah, I know they what you did. Oh, college. yeah. You never watched Black Mirror. Jennifer Love There's an episode of Black Mirror where they hit somebody with a car. And I have to watch that it. one. But um, so they're just ripping off. I know what you did last summer. Kind of. Yeah. What? No. What's the lead actress in that movie? Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, love her. Mm. And Jennifer then Sarah Love Michelle Geller is in that too. All the people with three names. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna start calling myself that. <laughs> Ryan Michael Blaney. Right above the car door. I saw uh, someone hit a bird yesterday. Like I was passing them, and like this poor bird just. Flew in just feathers everywhere, and I stopped and kind of looked at the bird, and dude was, dude was done. That and reminds I'm like, what me. What am I gonna do? I can't hit this thing. Um. So Sunday we had off. So Joey and I were walking through Davidson with the dog, and got attacked multiple times by a blue jay. Oh. I don't know if there was a nest nearby, but we were trying to go like one way, and it kept dive bombing the dog, and then it would dive bomb us. So mm. we turned around, and it kept dive bombing us. And then we started walking the other way, and it kept doing it to where we literally had to run. I'm not kidding you. Like, run away. Should have just swatted it. Just rough talk the bird. Uh, no, and his beak is, like, coming at you, like, crap. Stand back and Mr. And he was, Miyagi. Like, squawking. It. it was like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Hey, don't offend birds, I guess. <laughs> it was terrifying. It's coming right And now us. it's understanding how the movie Birds is actually scary, because I never thought that movie was scary. You never thought birds were scary? No. Massive, that that Massive amounts of birds. Just flying I just at didn't you find it believable. You're in a phone until booth. I got attacked by a bird. I think a birds could be very terrifying, especially if there's a so. Oh, we're gonna get into this topic. <laughs> uh, zombie apocalypse. Zombie birds. All these dead, uh, dead zombies. Birds just start eating them because they don't know anything and different, and then they start <laughs> and they kind of turn and then they start attacking people. So then you have these swarms of zombie birds destroying everything. You yeah. need a movie. Write a movie script about well, like, zombie kinda, birds. They stole that off of Resident oh. Evil. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was already in it. Oh, uh, there were crows. No, zombie that. crows. But uh, I shouldn't have said that. But, uh, I could see, though, where birds could get a taste for people if they yeah. if if like it was desolate in a dystopian society and there, was, there wasn't much for the birds to eat. They start eating people. Yeah, and then they mean, start car- Well, they start eating ca- carcasses of people first, and then they come after Well, vultures eat whatever they <laughs> Chuck want. Chuck is very uncomfortable. 
and now just vicious. Can you imagine a zombie eagle? Just a big ass bald uh, eagle or zombie. Or a zombie vulture? Oh yeah, right. just massive. I did. Uh, I birds are, super di- birds last are dinosaurs night. too. I what? Yeah, I haven't and seen it. Farva was like, "How much you give me if I shoot that eagle?" <laughs> 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 Have you guys seen uh, uh, Incredibles two yet? Mm-hmm. I haven't. Did no. you see Jurassic World two? No. I didn't either. I didn't hear very good reviews about I that didn't movie. Hear, I didn't hear great things about it. Speaking of things you should watch, uh, mm-hmm. Wednesday when this comes out, it is the 25th anniversary of Davy Allison's uh, oh, yeah. passing. But on Race Hub. Davy Lives On. Yeah, no, there's called? a documentary, um, 6 o'clock on Race Hub on Wednesday on FS1. And there'll be a little short film that we did in productions. It's pretty cool. Uh, some of the trailers are out. Right huh? I'm just kidding. I said, are you hawking your own stuff right now? I didn't do it. I'm kidding. I'm yeah. totally I, didn't, kidding. I didn't do it. There's going to be a big spread on NASCAR.com as well. I saw some clips. They were, clips yeah. were floating on the social yeah. medias, and it looked very good. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'll have to tune in to watch that. I have a lot of Davy Allison uh, apparel mm-hmm. and posters and stuff. Like him. That, but that, that's one of those ones that like this. I would tune in to watch this thing because it's going to be pretty cool. They talked to uh, his wife and his kids. Yeah. And Liz. Sorta, She's so sweet. Yeah. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Then next uh, next year, and I'm going to plug this one right now, Neil Bonnet. Yeah. So, like, that's another cool story that you don't hear. Oh, it's already planned that they're doing one? No. No. Oh. But should. I'm just, You're I'm, just I'm, for, I'm forcing there. a hand right now. Gotcha. Like, yeah. The Neil Bonnet story, like, I've looked at some of the stuff for that. Some of the stuff that he did, he did an interview with Davey that's going to be in this, like, some of the clips in that one, from his old mm-hmm. winter show. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, it's, when you see those old videos of, of Davy Allison, of Neil Bonnet, and of Dale Earnhardt, all of those together. Like, that's just some really cool untapped footage that yeah. we haven't seen in a while. I mean, it's been seen, you know, folks watch it back in the day when it first came out. But, but the newer yeah. fans? Yeah. Newer, younger fans, get out there, watch it. It's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, when I drove for the Wood Brothers, I got to know uh, Neil's uh, grandkids pretty well. And uh, really cool people. Um, Justin is the grandson. And uh, he gave me a signed hero card of Neil. Oh, wow. That was pretty neat. And I think they gave me a hat, too. Yeah, they did. I thought that was pretty cool when I drove for the Wood Brothers because he drove for the Wood Brothers. They live in Chicago. But pretty neat. Yeah, they do need to do a Neil Bonnet special. Pretty too. nifty. So, yeah. I mean, that, that, I mean we, could, we, could, we could end on that. Like, we could end on Go watch. It. Yeah. Go watch. Go uh, watch it. Go today. watch it. Go, go watch it today. Go watch it later today. Yeah, well, yeah, today because this is Wednesday. Yeah. I'm trying to pull up the songs right now to, to, to we, play us out. We time travel. We are time traveling. I am a breathing time machine. That's a, a song by the Avett Brothers. Oh. And this good. is a song oh. by a band on APM. Are it's, you playing Wednesday? Uh, yes, we are playing Wednesday at yeah. the Keg and Q. So ah. nice. Come on down to the Keg Have you Q. added any new songs to your repertoire? Yeah, we, we wrote a new one that uh, is actually getting uh, some pretty good uh, oh, people are liking called? it. I don't have a name for it you yet. You don't name your songs? Untitled song. It is Untitled one. It's number 41. Um, Number four. <laughs> we call this one Kurt yeah. Bush. <laughs> I call this one a bit of sorry with the fringe on What's top. it about? Uh, it's about lost love. Oh, my God. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I don't like giving my songs meanings that, like, I'm imposing on you the meaning of this song. Right. I'm just going to say, here's a song. Interpret it. If then, it touches you in a certain way. Yeah, but when, yeah. You, when it gets popular, let's say you go, you go mainstream, people are going to knock on your door. Chuck, what is this Untitled 41 song about? You decide. Your secret you decide. love of yeah. Kurt Bush. And I also want you to decide to go onto iTunes and subscribe to this podcast. Go to NASCAR.com yeah. slash podcast. Listen mm-hmm. to it there. Subscribe there. Like, rate, review. And do that on YouTube as well. Yeah. Go to all of the social media outlets. Yeah. Follow us. On the medias. Yeah. yeah. On the yeah. medias. We're online. Yeah. Take pictures with Ryan at the track. At Kentucky this weekend. Yeah. Uh, no one's brought me to uh, Corks yet. To yeah. wine Corks. I had uh, a guy in Daytona. He was like, I was going to bring you two wine corks, you but I didn't, I didn't find any. People uh, of Kentucky, think... bring Ryan two wine corks. Yeah, I'll be there. Eric Jones can bring you champagne corks. He could if he wanted to. Better keep his mullet, too. <laughs>